All right, so in this video, we'll discuss what is an adjacency list. So here we have a graph with five vertices and there are edges which are which are um, connecting these graphs. OK, so in adjacency list, we represent the graph uh, in this form where let's say the vertex one. OK, so vertex one has an edge towards V2 and V3. OK, so we link V2 and V3 one. OK, there will be a, there will be a linked list which will be linked, which will be linked to vertex V1. OK, vertex two, vertex two. Uh, from vertex 2 we can see only one edge which is connecting to v4 okay so from v4 um will will connect to so will so we'll link only one edge uh, to to v2 okay vertex 3 we are connecting to so vertex 3 we are we are connecting to v4 and v5 okay and vertex 5 we are connecting to v4 right so because because we have only one edge from v5 that is towards v4 so that's how we represent the graph using a, using and using an adjacency list if we have an if we have n n vertices and m m edges and the space complexity the space complexity of this adjacency list comes down to o of n plus m all right please refer to the previous video which i've done on adjacency matrix um where we represent uh, the graph in the form of a matrix and we represent the connection using zero and one okay and um and we represent the connection between the vertices using zero and one right so uh, please note that when the number of edges is very very less than uh, square of vertices uh, then we use a adjacency is better than an adjacency matrix and when m is equal to n into n minus one and when the number of edges is and the and then and when the number of edges is almost equivalent to n into n minus 1 by 2 and when the number of edges comes close to n into n minus 1 by 2 where where n is the number of what where n is the number of vertices then adjacency matrix adjacency matrix is a better choice than then then adjacency list edges is far less than the number of vertices it's almost a sparse sparse graph so it so it doesn't make sense to to represent such a such a large number of such a large number of what such a large number of vertices in the form of a matrix right and then and then representing each connection and then representing each connection and then each and then most of the elements in this matrix will be zero very few of them will be one because it's a sparse graph right and uh, adjacency and and so when there is a sufficient number of so when we have sufficient number of edges what is what is the sufficient number of what is sufficient number of edges that is m equivalent to n into n minus 1 by 2 okay so there it makes sense to represent the represent the vertices in the form of a graph and and uh and and they're using an adjacency matrix uh makes sense okay so brief 